a new transmission line needed to be installed between Chetwind and Dawson Creek. Round steel monopoles were to be used for part of the route instead of the usual lattice towels. This presented some design and fabrication challenges. Given the remoteness of the area, what they were looking for was a, an all-steel design with, with screw piles and then steel grillage on top. In a nutshell, the, the, the design challenge was uh, the classic fitting a round peg in a square hole. Steel framing a foundation um, for something that lends itself more easily to a concrete system. So challenges were there in the design as well as in the fit up. To achieve the tight schedule of, of turning over raw material into a fabricated village assembly to be shipped to site and erected meant being a little innovative in how the fabrication process had to happen. And one of those innovations was the use of a plasma cutting technology uh, called a python. To the naked eye, you'd look at it and you'd say, okay, there's a monopole, but underneath it, the foundations may be very, very different from location to location, just for the soil conditions and, uh, and for the loading on those particular poles. Through the collaboration process, it was decided to keep the screw pile shaft size a constant and vary only the number of helixes that we would need to carry the load down to the soil. These solutions, only feasible with steel, allowed the project to meet a tight timeline. For its design and fabrication ingenuity, the Power Pole Grillage Bases project is a worthy finalist for a CISC Alberta Steel Edge Award.